I'm very excited about this, Sean. A little bit of Star Wars, a little more Star Wars action. A little bit more Star Wars action. I couldn't get enough of it before. No. We're going to do a little bit different uh, this time. We're going to play a survival sort of horde mode Mm -hmm. that was inspired originally from Gears of War. That's true. It was. Uh, Gears of War was the the very, very first. Yes, it was. And we're going to um, discuss the upcoming new film as we play it. Let's so it. let's survive on Hoth. So what we're trying to do okay. here is survive as many waves as we can. There's Admiral yeah, Ak- Akbar. Admiral Akbar. So this is survival mode. We just see. I'm not sure how many waves they are. It's on hard. But uh, five waves, I want to say. I think maybe. Probably. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. So uh, you've seen all the trailers for the new film, The Force Awakens. Yes, sir. Sean. I've seen all the trailers for um, The Force what's, is Back. Uh, what's the favorite? Your favorite thing that you've seen in those trailers that makes you most excited about the new film? Um. It's tough to say. I'm excited about... Uh, it looks like... It's, it's a weird thing to say, but it looks like it's going back to its roots a little bit, oh, I most suppose. Definitely. Yeah. It seems um, like there's obviously going to be, you know, the kind of, like, action that has come out of the newer Star Wars movies. But it also looks like they're going a bit back to more yeah. of, like, the character development and the so, you know, relationships between people that actually made, you know, the original movie so good. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, you've got, we've seen so much Han Solo and mm-hmm. all these trailers, which is awesome. Yeah, Han and Leia are yeah, there, and they're, they're my nice favorite little people. Leia teaser in the most recent trailer. We haven't seen any Luke, though. Luke is going to be the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, dude, they are, you yeah. know they're saving him. He's their, their <laughs> oh, meal yeah. ticket. He's the Jedi Do you think master. they're going to show him at all before the movie comes out? I don't know, honestly. I, I don't it know. doesn't look like they're going to. I would love for there to be some weird twist with him where he's like a Sith now or oh, something like that. can you like imagine? That. Yeah, I can't imagine. That would be very cool. A lot of people would hate that. Oh, yeah. A lot of people would be very mad. They'd be like, what are you doing? They'd be like, JJ, you've destroyed the series. JJ, why? Yes, I would say, you know what I'm most excited about is it seems that they're being very sparse with uh, the lightsabers as well. Sure, that's important. Everything they've shown, um, like the only lightsaber fighty kind of thing we've seen was a teaser at the end of the most recent trailer where Mm -hmm. Flynn... Um, the new Jedi, I guess, of sorts, that mm-hmm. I'm assuming Luke will train, um, meets Kylo Ren, the new Sith Lord in oh, the yeah. forest. Oh, but, yeah. Um, oh, I'm getting goosebumps thinking know, about it. it. Ooh, Ooh, so and, you know, it's, it's very similar to the, uh, to the original, like the original uh, A New Hope, where... Mm-hmm. Very like there's not there's not lightsabers everywhere flying around. Yeah, the lightsaber it's is just, like a last resort yeah, sort of exactly. thing. You know, you're it's not like, you're you're trained to use it as a Jedi in defense. You know, and you use your your wits, mm-hmm. your ability to you know use the Force, all of that as a first you know method of solving problems. Yeah, exactly. And then at the last resort, you will take out your lightsaber and use it. I and what you another thing that's interesting is about the whole Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, mm-hmm. Carrie Fisher thing. Uh, Harrison, I mean, you know, he's career-wise, he's done way more films than Mark Hamill has. Sure. But it's it's curious that he is billed above Mark Hamill actually you think? in this. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, one of my buddies theorizes that maybe we're we're actually about to die. We have to get inside. Yeah. <laughs> that maybe that's so because it's more Han Solo centric. Interesting. Of a film, which mm-hmm. is possible. I don't know. That would be interesting. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I suppose um, to your average movie goer. Harrison Ford is much more of a household name, I guess. Uh, he's been in more, you know, sort of like action movies and stuff over time. And Mark Hamill is one of my favorite voice actors of all time. Dude, his Joker, he's incredible. his Joker is absurd. absolutely incredible. And yeah, story. I just want a like a old bearded, like super wise Luke <laughs> yeah, who's super, just like, super Luke just listen to me, Flynn. This is what you must do. Yeah, <laughs> this is not what Yoda would have wanted. And then he does the Joker laugh. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Being yeah. insane. He needs to put that in there somewhere. If he's a Sith, he's gonna do it. Yeah. Can you, do you really think that there's no, any know, universe where they make him a Sith? Um, um, yeah, I thought I'd seen a picture of Luke with a uh, red lightsaber, but it was actually Kylo Ren, the, the oh, Sith word. guy. Yeah, so f- I, for some reason I have this image in my head of him with a there, red yeah, lightsaber. Yeah, there are some crazy fan theories that like he is Kylo Ren, Yeah, word. but it doesn't make sense because Adam Driver is, <laughs> is, Kylo is cast Ren. as Kylo Ren. <laughs> um, hey, you never know. So we'll see. We'll what if see. Adam Driver is a uh, stage name for Mark Hamill? <laughs> Can you imagine? He, he was on man. Girls this whole time. Adam Driver's not actually a real actor. He's just Mark Hamill. Yeah, he's just Mark Hamill I, wearing I very, very convincing prosthetics. That would be actually incredible. Yeah, what a, wow, what a twist that would be, you know? Yeah, there's so much TIE Fighter versus X-Wing footage, too, that it seems mm-hmm. like they're bringing it back to its roots with that, yeah, which is very exciting. You know, it looks so, so clean, so crisp, but not in the same way that the prequels did. Yeah, which was everything was 
too too CGI. Yeah, you know? and everything was, was like you were watching it, and you were like, I feel like I'm watching like a weird video game or yeah, like exactly. It just didn't feel. It could have everything in the prequels literally could have just been put in this Battlefront video game, and it mm. would have looked like appropriate. Yeah, like a cutscene. It belonged yeah. here. Yeah, the the crazy um, thing is that you know. Star Wars is, of course, a series that is based around, you know, like, this crazy sci-fi stuff. But the reason the original trilogy worked so well is because it felt real. Yeah, exactly. You know? There was grit, a lot of grit to it. There was it. grit. There were, like, um, f- physics were all real. You know, no one did anything yeah. too crazy. Everything was real, like, prosthetics, costumes, makeup, everything. Because they didn't really have the ability to, you know, CGI everything at the time. Yeah, I think that's what was missing so much from the prequel trilogy. Yeah. It was also, oh, this is technically all taking place uh, before... The originals, mm-hmm. and yet it, it all looks so, so much so more futuristic. Yeah, than the originals totally, did, totally. Um, which was kind of weird, and you know, mm-hmm. even if you don't realize it while you're watching the films, you're just kind of like this. Yeah, it kind of puts you off like a little bit. It takes you out of it. Same you know? universe. Yeah, exactly. Whereas with the uh, the new one, it looks very much like a continuous story sure. from the original trilogy. Yeah, I'm very excited to see um, that. Which you know just makes sense. Technically, because of how it falls in the uh, the timeline, in the things. timeline, yeah. exactly. Um, but who, I don't know. I'm hopeful. I think J.J. Abrams knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Um, who is? Do we know who the, the the girl is in it? The female protagonist? Oh, um, I'm don't. Name, I'm like, not sure of the actor's name, but the character's name is. Uh-huh. Uh, I, know, I was oh just reading goodness. about it. The the you're talking about the Tatooine girl. Yes, uh, I think so. The I, cool, the cool, badass yeah, uh, young Ray. Young her name's Ray. Ray, that's what I'm thinking. R-E-Y. Yeah, R-E-Y. Um, Do we know, like, what her relation... I thought she was Luke Skywalker's daughter. Yeah, well, a lot reason. of people are like, oh, maybe she's, like, Han and Leia's lost child. <laughs> um, which would be interesting, interesting I guess. Yeah, that'd be interesting. But I don't really know how it makes sense, mm-hmm. uh, just from what we've seen in the trailers. Yeah, like, she's just troopers. some... She seems like she's just some, like, Tatooine junk... Yard girl, girl who sort yeah. of survives on Tatooine. Yeah, and who kind of falls into the the situation of the movie. Um, but her and I'm I I think from what I've seen in the trailer is sort of that Flynn is a stormtrooper, mm-hmm. and his his Tie Fighter crash lands on Tatooine, and he meets up with Ray, and the two of them mm-hmm. uh, stumble upon Anakin Skywalker's old lightsaber that Luke lost. Interesting somehow. And, they, and then, then they end up bringing the found lightsaber, I guess, to Leia somehow. Because mm-hmm. um, they're like, this is a Jedi relic. Like, yeah. we've never seen this before. And then, or actually, you know what I think happens? I think they run into Han Solo. Okay. And he's they're like, like, and they're like, like, like what, what happened? Yeah. Like, are the stories true about what happened with the Emperor and the Jedi are back or Jedi real? And he's like, it's true. All of it. <laughs> And uh, then he's like, I know the person who to bring this to. Yeah. I, know, I haven't I, seen Luke in decades. I know a guy. <laughs> um, yeah. And he goes to Leia because I don't think he's seen Leia in a while for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's how they reunite. And then Leia's like, I know where Luke is. And then they have to go find Luke. That's exciting. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, because Leia is technically a Jedi as well. She's a force sensitive. Oh, yeah, that's true. So I don't know if she has a lightsaber she's or she's trained, but I think she, I have a feeling it's going to be something where like she detects, oh, this Flynn guy has oh, midi-chlorines. <laughs> midi-chlorines. <laughs> Maybe I hope not they like never that. mention midi-chlorines. They're not going to, they're not. JJ's going to, I, I was talking to you about this yesterday. Yeah. I'm fairly certain that the new trilogy will completely just ignore not, everything yeah, that came out of the prequels. They will not acknowledge the prequel yeah, trilogy at all. That's probably a good call. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I trust. I trust JJ Abrams. Yeah, I think he does. Cloverfield is a great movie, dude. I like Cloverfield. Uh, I'm very interested to see what he does with everything. You know? He seems, especially you know, with with Disney's sort of hand in the yeah. pot, you know, because they're very. They keep their cards close to their well, chest. Yeah, you in know terms they're they're doing a uh, speaking of Disney, they're trying to do to Star Wars what they did with Marvel. You know they're trying they're gonna they just released a press statement saying oh mm-hmm. we're gonna release a Star Wars film every year. Oh God. <laughs> um, and it's a lot of them are spinoffs. Like the first one, sure. you know, The Force Awakens is actually it's coming out in under a month. Oh God. Which is cr- it's crazy. It's like crazy. when when did Star you Wars. think Star Wars would come you back? Would <laughs> ever not only would it come back, but when did you think you would ever see Luke Skywalker and yeah. Han Solo on screen again in Together, something new? Yeah. It is crazy. I never thought it's it would happen. Crazy. I thought after the prequels that that was just it forever. It is for Star so Wars. crazy. Yeah. Um. It's nuts. I'm. Oh, I'm, I'm. I'm so stoked. Ho, 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 I'm beyond stoked pumped. about it. I, it's thrilling, dude. It's just. It you is. Know, one of my buddies so put thrilling. it. Uh, Fernando. I keep quoting him on certain things. 
he put it quite well. He's like, when's the last time you were curious about Star Wars? Yeah. And I am. Totally. I'm so curious about it. I'm like, what? What's going to what, happen? Yeah, you know, what, like, what's going like, to come Is Luke going to die or something? Yeah, like, like, who are all these people? Yeah, I don't is, know. What's uh, the Empire doing these days? Yeah, what are they up to? Or, Why is the Empire still intact? Are there, is there, are there rebels? Is there a war still? You know? Like, and like I guess Max von Sydow is the new, like, Sith Lord. Okay. Because he's this old... Palpatine looking guy yeah, looks like Palpatine then again hood. JJ might just be messing with us and he's just That's like true. oh JJ they'll might. think they'll think he's a, a dude Luke is actually the Sith Lord <laughs> hey man I don't know we haven't I seen Luke know. at all we don't yeah. know what he's doing the only he's doing. image we've seen of Luke I think is his robot hand touching R2 oh gotcha shot. well there was also uh, people saw some promotional images you know leaked costume shots of oh him. yeah and he's just got a big beard big, big wearing beard big Jedi robes, robes you know, you know. which is Awesome. Yeah, it's probably so thrilling for Mark Hamill. Yeah, I can't imagine how excited he is right now. He's he's about to be the most relevant actor again. <laughs> yeah, literally went from being like star of the world in the Star Wars movies, <laughs> and then hey. uh, yeah, just did his own thing for a while. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, you know, obviously in the trailer they were like, oh, here's here's uh, Flynn fighting Kylo Ren in the woods, mm -hmm. classic blue versus red lightsaber. Do you think sure. we're gonna see uh, old Master Luke? Whip out his old green lightsaber and fight. fight maybe someone? maybe not in this film, but based off of you know if he's like around for the other ones, then yes, I would think yeah, that's well, uh, that has to happen at some point. It, it, I agree. But hopefully it, it won't be as a Yoda situation where exactly. it's like, oh boy, we get to see you know Master Yoda fight finally, and it's, it was just the, just the stupidest thing in the entire world. Doing backflips, throwing his lightsaber oh, around. God. Why is, you know, little Yoda... He's got who, a tiny you know, little lightsaber. Yeah, he's got a little toy lightsaber. Unbelievable. <laughs> Literally. Child-sized yeah, lightsaber. Child-sized lightsaber. Tuck uh, and Oscar Isaac is in it as well, playing an X-Wing pilot, which is pretty cool. Hey, wait, who's Oscar Isaac? He, uh... He was this. in Ex Machina, okay. the most recent, like, robot oh, film. Oh, yeah, I want to see that movie. I've heard and it's it very good. And it was supposed good. to be quite good. Yeah. And he's playing Apocalypse in the new oh, X-Men film. Oh, um, And okay, he's playing an X-Wing fighter. Cool. Which is kind of cool. Um, I'm excited for like to be excited about ships again, you know? Yeah, like ship like, I used to ship love. Bottles. I had so many Star Wars action figures as a kid. I had the ships. Yeah, dude. I had everything. the like the toys. You know, everything was um, awesome. And so yeah, like I said, they're going to be releasing one Star Wars film every year. Interesting. One every year. That's at least their their model, mm -hmm. their plan. I don't know if they'll be able to stick to it. We'll see. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Well. I like that concept because, of course, I would love to have more Star Wars because I love Star Wars. Yeah. But my only concern is, of course, the more rapidly you release something, right. you know, the the harder it is to maintain high right, quality. Absolutely. The more overexposed it can become. It's easy for people to stop caring, you know, when right, they see exactly. it every year. Although their first spinoff that's coming out, I'm actually going to die. Um, mm -hmm. is called yeah, Star Wars Rogue One, and it's essentially just a heist movie okay. about the team of rebel fighters. That stole the original Death Star plans. That, that make sounds awesome. The plot of the first movie happened. Yeah. Well, I love the idea of them, you know, playing around a little bit more with the stuff we already know. You yeah, know. Exactly. I like the new movies taking on new stories and progressing it forward, right, but I'm exactly. I'm not averse at all to spinoffs. Kind of, you know, right. exploring more and stuff. Felicia that we Hardy's in it. Forrest oh, Whitaker's cool. in it. <gasps> yes. A lot of. Uh, Good actors. A lot of good actors. A lot of it. good actors. And the story apparently is is pretty awesome. Great. It's so yeah, it's really just a heist movie where a bunch that whole team like breaks into the Death Star to steal the plans and like they all just get slaughtered as they're trying to escape. <laughs> just so they can get the plans to Luke. So Amazing. he can that like that's awesome to me. That sounds really cool. Yeah, that does sound really cool. And apparently there's a Boba there are a bunch of guys right Whoa, Apparently of there's a Boba Fett movie in the works too. Nice. Like if they do that well, that could be awesome as well. Mm -hmm. Um, that does sound awesome. They were talking about like a young Han Solo film. I don't think that would do as well. No, yeah. just because you know it's. I mean, it's Harrison was, yeah, Ford. He's young enough as it you, was uh, in the original ones. There's not much more you can explore. I don't, I don't think he's a great character, but you see yes. him right. evolve through the original movies. You know, I feel like right, you showed exactly. him early on in life. He would just be kind of one note. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. Yeah, I mean, we don't know too much about you know the the plot really or anything like that. So there's, I'm sure there's a lot of mysteries that will be unfolded. How mad would you be if Uncle Jar Jar is in the film? Is in the film? Yeah. I would be. Could they even do it? I would be furious. Like realistically, what? How old would he be at that point? He'd be pretty old. Pretty but then again, do old. do Gungans? Gungas. Do Gungas Gungans age? Gungas. I don't Gungans. Know. Do they, does anybody know? Does anybody know anything about Gungans? Gungas. 
Not even George Lucas knows about Gungans. Bottom line, we're both stoked as hell. Super, we're stoked AF for, for uh, the new movie. Big <laughs> just knocked those guys over. Yeah. Look at that, we're getting out of there, dude. How'd we just get away? we just defeated the Empire. Tell just us the two of us. Tell us what you're excited about about the new film. Are you planning on going to see it? Where are you going to see it? Maybe we'll see you at the theater. That would be fun. That'd be awesome. Who Together knows? Together we can rule the galaxy. Together we can rule all right, the galaxy. I love you. I love you all. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you later. Woo! Hop over that. Red rocket. Oh. Red rocket. Red oh, rocket. Oh yeah. It's a dog. Curious. Oh, oh look at that? this little dog. Hey boy, what are you You're doing right? here? Oh, yeah. Going to the bed. Oh yeah. Before it gets dark out. Oh yeah. Going to the bed. Oh yeah. There may be a shark out. It's night time.